If you've got uh, fret ends that are sharp or sticking out, it's often called fret sprout. Sometimes the wood shrinks and obviously the metal's not the same. It doesn't shrink, so it ends up sticking out a little bit. A lot of times, uh, even on new guitars you get from the factory, you'll find this. That's the case with this one. This is a road-worn Fender, and I got it for a guy I know in New Zealand. And before I ship it on to him, I'm going to see if I can make the fret ends a little smoother. This one's actually not too bad. Sometimes you get some that are horrible. But if you listen, maybe you can hear that. And I run my fingernail along the edge of the frets. It's making a little bit of noise. So they're sticking out just a little bit. There's a few things you can do. One is you can take a file like this, which is actually a, a Stumac file for, uh, you can use it for lots of things, but you can uh, use it for leveling frets too. But you have to be careful with this. Um, you can usually feel as you're moving the file along the edge. Um, hear that sound that's just metal it's just getting metal right now and that's what you want and I'm not I'm not beveling it I'm not going at an angle I'm just keeping it uh, completely flat on top of the neck and you can go over it a few times like this or just trying to knock off the frets that are sticking out just trying to smooth those out a little bit. So this is usually the my first thing that I try. And at some point you will start getting down to the wood. And you don't want to do that. You just want to take off the metal. So I'm not pressing down real hard. This is a pretty aggressive file. I'm just letting it slide along the top there. And if I mark the wood a little bit here, if it just starts to take off a little bit, um, my next step is going to be sanding and it will smooth it all out, get rid of any little scuffs that I've made. Okay, and now, now I can hear less of the metal sound and I can feel less, um, less resistance. So I know I'm, I'm pretty much done all I can do with this file. So the next thing you can try after you've taken a file and knocked off the, uh, some of the roughness on the ends of these frets is if they're, they're not real bad uh, and if you're not super picky about fret ends you might just be able to go straight to doing a little bit of sanding and what I've got here is some um, little sanding pads uh, and I like to use some kind of uh, lubricant you can use Windex um, or WD-40 is my favorite but you can just kind of go across the ends of the frets and go through several grits like this and I'm we're talking about pretty high grits here this is like 4,000 grit so it's it's just gonna smooth out any little marks you might have made with that file and it's gonna um, really smooth the end of the metal on those frets and I can go up to you know some even higher grits like six eight thousand twelve thousand there's one other thing that's pretty cheap from Stumac you can get. They're these little um, emery board type things and they really work. There's like um, one, two, three different grits on them. You won't want to use that roughest one, but you can use the middle one and just kind of use them on the end of the fret like that. And then this really fine one as a last step. And it really does a nice job as a, a final step there. This is like, I think 12,000 on the highest one. 
and I can already feel with my finger as I go across now it's my fingernails not catching like it was initially when I tried doing this you hear a little little bit of clicking but not much and it feels so much better now now if I flip it over I haven't treated this side yet I can't even get my fingernail to go down the edge yet on this side so you can see what a difference that it's made already now if you've got some frets that are really bad and you really need to do more or if you really want to give them the just the A plus treatment and this is a long process and it's not easy but um, this would be uh, this would be the next thing before sanding and that's called rolling the fret ends and all you need is this little file that you can get from Stu Mac um, one side of it is like a safety side it's rounded and the other side is not it's flat and there's a Stu Mac video out there that you probably also want to look at for this but the first thing you want to do is take the, the file this way and just do a few passes and make sure you're going at the angle of the bevel and just knock off any metal that maybe is sticking over the end still okay this is assuming I've already gone across it with the bigger file and gotten most of that but you can still do this step because it's real easy and quick and you just do a few passes like that okay now this on this next part of it you're going to put the non-safe side against the wood and that's a little scary at first because it can mark the wood and that's just the way it is you're, you're gonna make some little minor marks on the wood and in the next step of sanding you'll you'll get rid of any kind of um, little mess that you've made but what you're gonna do is at about a 45 degree angle from the fret you're just gonna go like this and what you're knocking off is that squared off portion of the fret right here where it comes to the end and it's very squared off and that's the part that can catch against your fingers and hurt sometimes you're gonna do that on both sides if I can get my guitar to stay still here it doesn't take too many passes I'm just gonna knock off the edges like that and now you're going to flip it over to the rounded side so now the rounded side is the one touching and you can you don't have to worry too much now because you're not going to mark that wood and this is the motion that you're after you're starting like this and you're doing a motion like that so you're rounding the top edge of that fret and then you go over to the other side and you round from that side and yeah you can already feel a huge difference compared to the other ones because these are just still there's still a squared off edge sticking off the end here and this one we've knocked that down and we've rounded the top edges of the fret up here and this takes some practice. I'm just doing it a lot. And after you do that, going over that fret end with some different grits of sandpaper is the final piece of the puzzle. And that will really bring it all together. And it will just be a smooth, buttery fret end. Let me see if I can get a close up of that so you can see how before and after up close here here's one I haven't done anything to and you can see how it's it's got that very squared end on it and that can be sharp especially if you've got fret sprout that's not going to be real comfy now this one I did that rolling motion on that rolling treatment 
and feels a lot more smooth to the touch and you can you can really see the difference there so I just wanted to give just wanted to give a final look here at some of these fret ends after I've given them the once over kind of rounding the ends and then sanding them and then as a final step I did use a little fret polish just really smooth them out